Hello friends, welcome to Ultrapixels. This is a Panasonic 43 inch LED TV. Here the complaint is no display. Here, this is the power supply board. And this is the mo motherboard of the TV. Here you can see, it's a 43 inch LG panel. Here you can see the LG Tcon board. Here the complaint is, sometimes the picture goes to no display. While occurring this complaint, when this complaint occur, there will be no VGH and VGL voltages. The VGH and VGL voltages are missing while the picture goes to no display. Here you can see now the TV. Now let's power on the TV. See now the TV is turned on but here you can see there is nothing on the screen. The backlight is ok. So now let's remove each FFC cables left side and the right side FFC cables and check whether the complaint is because of internal shorting inside the gate signals of the inside the gate signals of the panel or not so let's remove the FFC cable from each side and check whether the complaint is related to internal shorting inside the panel or not for confirming it so let's check it out at present time there is no VGH and VGL voltages the panel basic voltages are missing and the panel input VCC 12 volt is ok now we removed FFC cables now both the FFC cables are removed but the complaint remains still same there is no VGH and VGL voltages at present time so here we took another take on board it's also a 43 inch LG take on board so now I'm going to replace the this take on board with the old one so now let's start replacing the old Tcon board with new Tcon board so for that let's remove the LVDS cable from the motherboard and remove the screws for fixing the new Tcon board so now we removed the faulty take on board and going to install the new one now let's screw it and connect the LVDS cable FFC cable back to the new take on board now the take on board is fixed to the TV now let's connect the FFC cable, LVDS cables Here you can see now the LVDS cables are connected Now let's connect the FFC cable Now the FFC cables and the LVDS cables are connected back to the Tcon board. 
So now let's turn on the TV and check the picture. Here the problem is with the T-con board. So now we powered the TV. Now the TV is power on. Here you can see the TV is power on. And here you can see the display on the screen. Here you can see the AV symbol. So the new T-con board is working fine. So we confirm that the issue with the T old T-con board. Here you can see the new decomputer is working fine. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. See you in another video with another interesting topic. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications.